Hey, it's Austin from Turbo Lab. I wanted to show you this GTX twenty eight or yeah GTX twenty eight seventy one that I re that I built. Uh, I used a Rotomaster compressor housing, and I also wanted to talk to you about the difference in the GTX twenty eight seventy one R versus the GTX thirty seventy one R. The GTX twenty eight seventy one R I would recommend if you're trying to make three hundred fifty horsepower. And if you want to make like 425, I would go with the GTX 3071R. The only difference in, the, in the, these two turbos is the turbine shafts. And I'll also go ahead and give you the specs. The turbine shafts of the GTX 2871 and the 3071 is... The 2871 is 47 by 53.8. And then that's 9 blade. And then the... Uh, 2871 or 3071 is uh, 55 by 60 and uh, it's a 10 blade. I prefer the 3071 if you're going for uh, if you have a, a little bit larger of an engine because it will help it will prevent you from running the issue where your engine will outflow your turbo. So if you have a 2 liter, I would normally go with this, and especially if you're revving higher RPM. Uh, if you're like have a Honda or something, or um, some guys use this with the SR20, and you're not really running higher than 6500 RPM, this would do pretty well. Uh, the compressor wheel is 54 by 71 by 73, and it's an extended tip wheel. This is a really nice wheel to use uh, for this turbo. I think it's really a perfect match for the 3071. Uh, the 2871 is still a good turbo. I prefer the 3071 just because I think it's more ideal for a 204 cylinder than the 2871. I think the 2871 would be, be better for like a 1.8 car or um, something around that nature. Um, <clears throat> If you're looking to rebuild one of these turbos, you can find information by watching my video on GT3071 Turbo Rebuild. You can find that on YouTube. And also, don't forget to watch the uh, ball bearing turbo uh, sleeve removal video. That's on YouTube also. If you're looking for me to build you a turbo like this, uh, you can always contact me at TurboLabAmerica at Gmail. Uh, I did build this turbo from scratch from the parts I had. Uh, the compressor housing, like I said, it's a Rotomaster. Roto it's basically the same thing as the Garrett compressor housing, but it was like an aftermarket turbo. And then I had all the other parts to build this. And another thing to keep in mind is uh, the GT uh, 2871R shaft that uses a 30R compressor wheel. The length of this shaft is different than the 2860. So it's, it's 112 millimeter if you're looking to buy something like that. And then uh, the GT2860 uh, is shorter. So make sure you buy the right shaft if you're rebuilding one of these. And when you see my video for the GT3071R, uh, you should be able to see my rebuild kit if you want to buy that or if you need to buy that. The rating, horsepower rating that Garrett has on the GTX 3071R is 340 horsepower to 560 horsepower. Uh, if you're looking to go for like the 560 range, I would actually go with the GT3076 or the GTX 3076. And the main reason why is because when you get to the point where you're starting to max out the turbo, you really need like math injection or something to cool it down because it's going to be blowing a lot hotter air when you start to uh, get close to the max. But I, I would safely do or shoot for like 425 to 450 horsepower at the 3071R. So thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to this channel.